Miss O'Neill gave us too much homework. Where's Skinner? He's supposed to help us get ready for the history test. He said he might be late. He had to go around the corner and handle Big Rocco. Big Rocco? He's the meanest kid in the whole neighborhood. Are you sure Skeeter doesn't need any backup? Trust me. Skeeter can be very charming when he wants to be. And another thing. You're so slow. You stand at a carton of orange juice for an hour because it said concentrate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And check it. You're so cheap. You hold on to a pity so tight you squeeze the booger out of Lincoln's nose. <laughs> Skeeter gets Big Rocco mad. Don't worry. Skeeter's always right on top of things. Domino, sucker! <laughs> Get down! You know what you gotta do. <laughs> 47. <laughs> 48. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't count. All the way down. All the way up. Now, let's see. Oh, I lost count. Seven. <laughs> Big Rocco tries to hurt him. Trust me. Right about now, the Skeeter's probably got him in the palm of his hand. You about to catch it now. Here comes my secret weapon. What your eyes can't see. <laughs> Heavy D, uh, run DMC, Kenny G, Shirley, you talking to me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, get me out of here. <laughs> hey, the next got smoke. And Shaq went for 53 on Patrick. Creativity is a funny thing. On one hand, you want to be true to yourself. On the other hand, if you're trying to create something for people to enjoy, sometimes you have to keep it in the mainstream. Yo, Bobby, I don't want to discourage you, but your drawing looks like somebody threw up on their geometry homework. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Dad. <sighs> Mom went to bed. She said your dinner's in the oven. Oh, thanks, son. But believe it or not, I'm too tired to eat. Woo! Well, that's good, because I just finished it. <laughs> wow, Uncle Andre, you look more tired than Dennis Rodman's last movie. Get it? Tired, because Rodman's last movie was tired. Get it? Yo, I'm a comical genius. Somebody give me that. <laughs> well, don't leave me hanging. Oh, I'm sorry, Skeeter. I'm too tired to give you that. Whatever. Hey, Dad, you've been coming home late all month. What are you working on? Oh, that new Freddie Holiday project. That old jazz trumpet player? He's great. Yeah, but my jazz division hasn't had a hit in a long time. And the executives are thinking about shutting us down. If I don't get a hit single with Freddie, I might be out of a job. What? You mean you could be out of work? Yo, we might lose our deluxe apartment in the sky. Ha, ha. <laughs> well, we still have one more shot to get a hit. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Dad. Night. Yo, they should let me in the studio. If I was playing drums, you know they'd have a hit. I don't know, Skeeter. Jazz drumming's a little different than regular drumming. Who are you telling? I'm your syncopation blood relation with all the combinations for a celebration. Check it. <laughs> Of the 
many roaches that be creeping in your spot. I be marred from the start. I have to admit, no matter how old I get, I love to watch Saturday morning cartoons. Spoiled and I'm eating for lunch. Potato tot and if not, make it. Bobby, sometimes you are so immature. Those cartoons are totally unbelievable. Oops. Sorry, Skeeter. I didn't see him. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, um, we were just watching a, um, a documentary on hair loss. Very mature stuff. Oh. Clear skies. Well, because my TV broke and I was wondering, could I come over and watch cartoons? Really? I mean, yeah, sure. I guess so. <laughs> Are you okay, Skeeter? Yeah, luckily your dad's briefcase broke my fall. My dad's briefcase? Oh no, he must have gone to work without it. He keeps all his notes in there. Ooh. Well, you guys need to get down there. If he's still working with that jazz guy, he's gonna need his mixing levels, his track list, his cue sheets, his BPM charts, his sample clearances. Kids, lunch. <laughs> Yo, let me go get my keys. I'm gonna go with you in case anybody tries to mess with you on the subway. Ha, ha, yeah! I'm gonna go too, just in case Black Belt Skeeter needs backup. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, did you draw this? Uh, yeah, but I was just kind of messing around. Oh, kind of looks like a cross between Picasso and Jackson Pollock. Thanks. I'm really glad you like it. But it's supposed to be my grandma. Oh, very postmodern. I said it looked like someone threw up. We better go. <laughs> and Skeeter? Hmm? When we get to the subway, please don't cry to kick the turnstiles. What, like this? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We found your briefcase at home, Uncle Andre. Yeah, we thought you might need it. That is so great. <sighs> wow. My lunch. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need this other stuff later. <laughs> Thanks a lot for bringing all this stuff down, Bobby. No problem, Dad. Hey, is this the single you're working on? Yeah, the record executives are coming down this afternoon to hear their new song. So, what do you think? I think I figured out why you keep coming home so drowsy. Boy, this stuff makes elevator music sound like Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> you are so right, Skeeter. Freddie and I would much rather do an up-tempo single, but mellow jazz seems to be what's selling right now. And this is what my bosses are asking for. Boy, they should be asking for a pillow! Skeeter, chill out. <laughs> Mr. Walker's been working really hard on this. No, no, Skeeter's right. If we don't get a hit single, no one's gonna buy the album. Don't worry, Dad. You'll work it out. I have faith in you. Well, thanks, son. Hey, I'd invite you guys to stay, but Freddie's a little uptight about having strangers in the studio. <laughs> Get it? Dennis Rodman's last movie was tired. <laughs> Give me more, Dad. Woo, wow. You know what, Skeeter? You what we call copacetic. Well, that's an honor coming from you. Because when it comes to jazz, you're the boppinest, wailinest, stompinest, groovinest, <laughs> hip cat out of all the alley cats, sophisticates, and the finger popping daddy O. <laughs> Hello? What? They want me to pick them up at the airport? I'm not. Okay, okay, I'll be there. Listen up, guys. I gotta pick up the label execs at the airport and try to talk them out of shutting down my division. Bobby, keep an eye on Freddie. Don't let him leave. Don't touch anything. But Dad! Do what I say. I'm sorry, Bobby. This is an emergency. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know I'm gone. Jeez, I've never seen your dad this stressed out before. Yeah, I guess if Freddie's single isn't a hit, my dad's gonna lose his job. Okay, I got one. How do you make a million dollars playing jazz music? First, you start with two million. Get it? Start with two million because you're going to lose a million? Get it? Ooh, wow. If you want to hear some authentic jazz, we got to take it on down to the Blue Note Coffee House. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bobby, Nita, come on. Freddie's going to take us to him, play some up-tempo, old-school, cool jazz. Eddie said I could do one of my jazz poems. What? We can't leave. My dad should not to go anywhere and take us back from the airport. That'll take for hours, man, in this traffic. Hey, look, you young kids want to come with me and hear some real jazz. 
Daddy-O's, my band is diabolical. Yeah, Daddy-O's, his band is diabolical. <laughs> Yo, Freddy, just in case anybody tries to bother us on the subway, don't worry, I'm a black belt. Watch it! Hiya! I'm okay. Yo, this needs to be his next single. Your dad'll never keep his job with that mellow jazz elevator music. Hey, I have an idea. You know, Skeeter's right. I mean, this is better than that synthesizer stuff. I know. My dad likes that up tempo stuff better, too. But he says people just don't buy that old stuff anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest here today. Please put your hands together for our jazz poet, Professor Skiba. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cat blowing a barrel full of beautiful beepop. And when he played, sparks were flying, honey was dripping. And it was the king size scream. <laughs> but one day, this finger popping daddy yo stop playing the music he loved. Don't go there. Watch it now. Hold on. <laughs> but then he saw the light and lit up the night with his powerhouse band that shook the land. He started blasting breakneck bloodshot, burning out biscuits and skyscraper solos, and I mean it was the complete scene. Zibbity zibbity da da. Zibbity da. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> gonna thank us when he hears the track we're putting down. Besides, Uncle Andre's stuff was at the beginning of this tape. We're just using what was left over. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Walker. Tell him I'm not here. Uh, Bobby's not here. Yo, Bobby, is this the jam or what? Oh, uh, he just walked in. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad. Hey, Bobby, it looks like the plane's gonna be late, and I've gotta stay here and wait for them. So go ahead and send Freddy home. Oh, um, okay, Dad, whatever you say. What's all that noise in the background? Oh, um, Freddy's playing one of his old cassettes on Skeeter's tape player. Oh, I love that old stuff. I wish that could be the single. Anyway, you don't have to lock up, because I'm gonna be down there later to play the new song for the boss. And Bobby, thanks a lot for your help. You got it, Dad. See you later. Ooh. That was copacetically angelic.